Hey guys, it's Jess and I'm back here with another video for you. Today we're doing another unboxing and I have four of these brand new, I think they're Animal Kingdom or maybe they're Safari. I don't know what they officially they call them because I, there's no name on the front, but they, they just came out in the parks over this last month and they feature Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Donald, and Pluto. I'm not sure if there's a Chippendale one in there or not maybe and it's all safari base which is why i associate it with animal kingdom so let's take a closer look at these box and the pens that you have the possibility of getting these boxes retail for 15.99 and they do include two pins in each box and there are eight different pins that you can collect so all right let's take a closer look at this pin box I really love the artwork that they did here where you have the whole safari crew here and these animals out in the background. It makes me think of the nighttime safari that they do, which I haven't done yet, but I have it on my wish list. So I just, I really like that. So here are our options. We have Mickey with this kind of yellow background with the go wild, super cute. Expert Explorer Donald, and I love this pen. There is one similar to it already out with the other set that's similar, and I think it's hilarious. Then we have Chip and Dale here, and it says Tour Guide. I think that one would be really fun too, but honestly, I think I want all of these. And then we have Goofy over here with Always Be Prepared, and that's like a compass behind him. And then we have official tour guide Mickey there. And that also looks really, really cool. We have the Safari Squad, which has, I think, all of them kind of in silhouette there, maybe. And then we have Adventure Awaits Disney Animal Kingdom with Pluto. And last, we have Minnie with Born to Explore in that butterfly on her finger. I think there is an open edition pen right now that just came out that has, if not the same artwork, very similar artwork. Right. Time for box one, let's see. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is, well, no, I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna say I'll open them all up and then just open them all together. But I wanna see if any of them are packaged together gonna snip off the top and like the hit oh hidden Mickey's they are in like a little paper sleeve it's not cardboard like the hidden Mickey's are but it is a paper sleeve I don't know if that's to protect it or so people can't open the boxes and then feel maybe I don't know so it's square let's see oh it's the safari one that's really fun here is that Safari Squad pin. Look at how cute that is. I love that this is probably the tree of life that they have here behind them. And this is definitely one of the Safari vehicles. And then you have kind of silhouetted here. That's Pluto in the background. It almost looks like he might have like something on his nose maybe. I'm not sure. And then Goofy and then probably Minnie and Donald and Mickey driving is what it looks like to me. And here is the back of this pen, pretty standard, but it does look like the waffling looks much better than I've seen recently, so I'm really happy with that. And if I take this pen back off, you have one nice little post there and one little nub. That is good to know. Just feeling the edges a minute to see if there's any sharpness because that has been another issue recently, but this one seems good. Pin number two. So I'm just gonna pull that white paper out. You can find yourself a little trash pile here. It's Mickey and that fun bird. I don't know what kind of bird that is, but I really do like this go wild pin. It's really cute. And I do think these pins are really 
nicely made. They're thick, they're a nice heft to them. And the waffling on the back looks really nice. I wish I knew what kind of bird this is because I wanted to say it was a toucan, but it doesn't seem right for that. So if you know what kind of bird that is, let me know. It's interesting that they have the orange and yellow background. It makes me think of fire in the background, which is not really something you want to see on your safari. Interesting choice there, but it does make Mickey kind of pop off. And I really love this kind of explorer look on him. So far, I think quality wise, they're better than what I've seen recently. The ink and paint pens and the flower and garden pens that I opened, and I'll link both of those up here for you. Both the quality on those did not seem as good as what I would expect. So I'm happy to see that these pens, at least so far, seem to be of a better quality. Which is funny because both of those were limited release pens, which you would think would be of a nicer quality. Okay, two more pens. Box number two. And snip. Oh, I didn't snip it quite all the way. There we go. And let's see here. I can't seem to pull them out with the paper, so I'm just pulling the paper out. And now I can't put my finger in. <laughs> oh, it's round. Oh, official tour guide. I like that one too. These are really cool pens. Official tour guide. I actually think this pen is one of the coolest pens in the set, to be honest. Because if you look at those binoculars, let me see if I can zoom in so you can see a little better. Oops, wrong way. But can you see how in his binoculars you have like just giraffes and elephants and, oh, I can't remember what tree that is that you always see on the safari and you have birds flying over here. It is really detailed in there and I, they look really cool. So super happy I was able to get this pen and just really, really fun. There's that back. Number four. And I did get enough boxes that if we're lucky, I could complete this whole set. Oh, Pluto. Here is Adventure Awaits with Mr. Pluto. And you have his name right there on his canteen and he's carrying a little lantern tree of life there in the background this in like some probably african inspired design here on the sides maybe it's an animal kingdom set i know the friend who picked these up for me i think he got them in downtown disney so i don't know if they're available at all the parks maybe they're not maybe they're only at downtown disney and at like Animal Kingdom because sometimes they do stuff like that or at the resorts in downtown Disney and someplace like that. Okay on to box three. First double but he's awful cute. Okay I'm gonna set him aside. <laughs> this bag, bag is so wonky can you see that? It's like sealed at an angle. <laughs> so I think I'll have to actually cut the paper inside in order to get it out. That's weird. <laughs> okay, so the real question here is, is the official tour guide pin the pin in here with this? And did we get a duplicate box? Let's see. Oh, guys, it is. That doesn't bode well. <laughs> Because usually what that means is that they have matched up certain pins and so it's it makes it harder to complete a set because you if you get one duplicate you're automatically getting two duplicates which just make it challenging I mean that could have been a fluke but usually it's not so let's hope this third box is not the same no fourth box left box I really want this Donald one. 
at the top because that would be really cool. You know, with the paper in there, it does make it harder for people who want to open them in the part who usually push the pin against the side of the plastic to open them. That's weird. I would think they would want you to open them in the park. You know, so you can trade in the park. But, I don't know, maybe they don't. Oh, yay, it's a different one. Always be prepared. And it's goofy. Next, we have this always be prepared pen. So fun. I love that Goofy is kind of confused and looking at the map and that this is a, it's reminiscent of a compass here, although it does not have, you know, your north, south or whatever on it. But I think it's a great pen, a great addition. The pens seem to be of a good size and just really nice and thick and sturdy pens. I really like these pens. I want to get the whole set. Last pen. It's Donald! <laughs> Expert explorer and he's taking a picture of himself. And last but not least here is Donald. I love this pen. I, it makes me laugh. So you do have that African tree there in the background of this one. I, I wish I could remember what it's called. I know it's it's only active part of the year kind of thing, but and that it's like the tree of life, I think is what the tour guide always calls it. But I can't remember for the life of me what it is. But anyhow, I do like the look of shock on Donald's face and his hat falling off there, as well as just, just generally speaking, the shape of this pen and the camera. It just, it seems like such a Donald moment. I do think that the yellow they used for the flash and for his eyes is a little bright, but overall, not a big deal. Still really love this pen. Oh my goodness. These are so cute. And I know they're very similar to a set that's already out, but I feel like these are unique enough that it's okay. I, I kind of like both sets. It's kind of like, I think they came out with a second Pandora pen set and then they start to phase out the first one, but you could still find them at the same time kind of thing. So I wouldn't be surprised if that older set starts to get phased out, but we'll see. All right, that's all I have for today. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. And if you liked this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you're as much of a Disney nerd as me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there somewhere so you never miss a video. All right, guys, until next time, see you later.